Hello friends, welcome to Electrical Master channel. Today we are going to discuss about how to choose battery for home. Let's go to the topic. First of all, what is battery? Battery is an electrical device which is used to store the energy in the form of DC supply. Whenever the main supply is filed, the stored energy can be reused. In normally, the electrical batteries available in the market in the range of 12 volt, 24 volt and 48 volt and also the capacity from 10 h to 100 h, 150 h, something like that. And also we know the batteries are having charge ratings between C10 and C20. Types of batteries. There are two types of batteries available in market. The first one is tubular battery and second one is, second one is nickel cadmium battery. Tubular battery is cheaper compared to the nickel cadmium battery. The tubular batteries are maintenance always maintenance needed and the life cycle if you check it's a 15 to 20 years and the charging cycle also 1000 to 1500. And the nickel cadmium battery is expensive but the good performance and also life cycle is more no need for any maintenance. How to size the battery capacity? The choosing of battery size is purely based on the load backup power. That means, first we need to calculate how many hours we need backup for our loads. So, I will explain the concept through some examples here. Let us consider, we are going to connect 4 CFL lamp, 2 fans and 2 tube light to our inverter. So, we need to uh, we need to rent this load for 7 hours. That means we need a 7 hour backup. So how do we calculate the battery capacity for this connecting load for 7 hour? Let's see. First we should know our connecting load wattage details. Usually one CFL lamp which consists, consists of 20 watts and one fan is equal to 75 watts and tube light usually consists of 40 watts. So as per our calculation, we consider 4 CFL lamp. So each it, each it will be 20 watts. So it will be equal to 80 watts. And 2 fans, it will be 150 watts. And 2 tubelet, it will be 80 watts. So total watts we needed 80 plus 150 plus 80. It's equal to 3, 310 watts. And we need to run this load for 7 hour backup. So Total watts equal to 310 into 7, it means 2170 watts. So as per the load, we as per the load we need to size the battery. But battery sizing we should calculate the amperes. As per the as per a formula for calculating amperes, so power equal to voltage into current into power factor. We know the power, it's a 2170 and voltage 230 volt and we don't know current and power factor it will be 0.8. So as per the formula we put the values we will get current equal to 11.8 amperes. And let us consider for example we will take 100 AH batteries and 12 volt C10 rating charging and it's a tubular battery we will consider. So as per the charging rating it's a 10 percentage. Uh, C10 that means the charge will take 10% of capacity of the battery. That means 100 is the capacity of the battery into 10%. It will equal to 10 amperes. That means 10 amperes is needed for charging the battery. The same thing if you are discharging the battery, it will give 10 hour backup if you take 10 amperes. So our required load is here 11.8 amperes. But our capacity of the battery it will be 100. So we will divide it. 100 divided by our required amperes 11.8, it will come 8.5 hour backup. We need only 7 hour, it will, it will give us 8, 8 and half hour backup time. In this way, we can calculate any type of battery size as per our load. 